What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech and I'm going to show you how to solder these wire connections and on each side of this heat shrink tubing there is sealant that seals up the outside so no moisture gets inside that will destroy that solder connection. So these are really great heat shrink tubes. They come in assorted sizes and I'm going to show you how to use them right now. The first step is you want to size up the tubing to the correct size for your wiring and we're going to go ahead and twist these copper ends together and then we're going to line up the solder bead to the copper connection. And once again you want to line up that solder bead right in the center where that copper wire connection is and that should be good. So I am using my Power Probe Butane Soldering Kit. The Power Probe soldering kit consists of a hot knife to cut rope, three soldering tips, a blower tip for hot air, solder, two wrenches, a case, and a sponge where you could clean the tips. There's other heat shrink tubing sizes for bigger jobs, but this is a great kit. I've been using it for years and I highly recommend it. As you can see, it has different tips. You just screw them on, really easy to do. And it's easy to use. You fill it up right here in the back using butane, of course, same as a cigarette lighter. And then I like to set it on low, turn it on like that. And to start it, you just press that. And now it heats up within about 10 seconds and you're ready to go. Just don't touch the end, it's super hot. So you wanna be about a couple inches away. And then you'll start seeing there it is, that's the water sealant side. And then here's the other side where it water seals. You'll see it liquefy. And then in the middle, you'll see that solder bead kind of burst. You don't want to get too close. And you should wear safety glasses. Because sometimes it might break and spit out. There you go, as you can see, See how it liquefied and made that connection. There we go. Not too close. All right, so that looks pretty good. And then go ahead and put the cover on, just like that. And it has a vent right here, just in case the tip is still too hot. Hopefully you found this video informative. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.